<laughs> so I moved to India because that time my parents had planned to take uh-huh. uh, uh, send me to boarding school in India. And the time when I, uh, it was around the Maoist insurgency time. Oh, yeah. So they were like, go, 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 mm. go. This is not the time because Nepal banned on the show, schools are banned on the show. And it wasn't safe. Either, it wasn't either. safe. Right. It wasn't safe. Yeah. So that's why I was there in India and I've been there ever since. And that's why I have the Indian accent. And like, because it's that formative years when you're growing up, when you converse with people, you get that accent. So like... even though mm-hmm, my school mm-hmm. was a was an english medium school mm-hmm. but it was a culture and i mean right. the boys were speaking hindi yeah. so to fit in i had to start speaking in hindi and now my hindi is like an like a, like i can be in Typical indian hindi. people won't think uh, my grammar is in great but my tone is like an you know like an indian person so people don't think i'm indian there i'm a nepali there mm-hmm. but here in nepali in nepal everyone's like this are you indian i'm like <laughs> no no i'm nepali <laughs> so so that is that the reason why you're nepali you're not very comfortable speaking nepali yeah because um, you know my first language was nepali okay we were good at nepali when i hear myself growing up as a kid mm-hmm. and then they started making us my family started making us learn english because that's right. when i would learn english as well so we started speaking english and there was a point where they encouraged us to now get good with english also nepali pani bolte ho tara english pani and the issue was that we were going to india so we never studied uh, nepali as a subject mm. as a language okay we did hindi because like india gai ra cha but you garni paryo so that's what happened and then when i went there i lost touch of nepali i didn't see, there weren't many nepali people in our school um lost touch in fact the most i spoke in nepali was with my friends from sikkim um tewanda ruta i didn't so uh, were you coming back and forth to nepal yeah or? i was coming back like every summer and winters but you know then you're just used to one language english mm. and then my family really tries to make me learn nepali and they've always tried but i don't know what it is with me i was just like no 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 malali i don't mm. know i just i was so comfortable with the language i was uh, so i don't know so do they speak in nepali at yeah more mostly in so, english so so there's nepali english uh-huh you know with each other and um, they'll speak with me in nepali also but i'll reply in english like my dad literally there times where he's like okay now hami nepali mein mat kura garni ani they ho i'm like mm, i feel shy yeah. i don't know why i feel shy uh, i totally understand because like i come from a newari family and i uh-huh. don't know um, newari yeah like <clears throat> yeah. i i cannot speak in newari mm. but i don't understand most of newari either mm-hmm. and my um, you know if you look at my cousins or all the other relatives except for like i was the first person to break that language oh, wow. right so oh, really mm-hmm. so yeah I, i and then after me my little sister she doesn't understand it mm-hmm. mm-hmm. as well but then it's basically i think it's those formative years oh. when you're when you're very small and your brain is very malleable oh. and that's when things like language and emotions and a lot of these things you know philosophies yeah. Uh, oh. that get those get um, solid in your brain for sure right. because you see kids go to america yeah. for that, those few years and they come back with a full thick accent american so accent yeah, yeah american accent right. and then you see people you know i've seen people in nepal they have an accent uh-huh. and i'm like how did they get an i try to think you know these things come around like how did they you get mean an accent ne- english accent in, in, uh, in like nepali accent american british a mixed oh, okay. accent okay. i'm like how did they get an accent right not mm-hmm. with judgment but with like curiosity uh-huh. and then when i dug through when i saw my cousins and them getting an accent i was like they basically watch youtube videos and like yeah, cartoons so. and things yeah. where people are talking english and if they don't speak english in the household and the only english they have access to is with an accent they tend to get that accent while they speak so i'm like that's how it works because yeah, it i was makes so sense. curious always yeah because like when you growing up there used to be like few nepali series and all those things but mm. then i i don't think anybody watches that from 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 um, this side of nepal yeah basically yeah. but um i think that should be the key if you want to grow the community oh, as well oh. because uh, that's our language our history i don't want to be preachy but that's the reality you know the yeah. language of the history that has to go on like even in india people um towards the south they refuse to speak in hindi yeah, right yeah. they are so proud of their heritage yeah. and language and, and culture so, yeah. yeah and i think we have a very rich history we have a very oh. rich culture and oh. um heritage that you know um unless we um not just as a community we as a nation or the government as long as we don't try to you know promote oh. it through media and everything because that's where the people are that's where You know, the kids are and i think that's where the effort should be as well for sure for sure like how you know like 
I mean, it doesn't have to only be Nepali. Like you said, you're from the Neva community, and your language is also so nice and unique. Mm-hmm. So if you know that, also, it's you're preserving it. I think it's yeah. it's, it's it's actually yeah. Good. I'm trying to actually learn oh, it now. Nice. Maybe I'll I'll get a tuition or something like that. Oh, Because my nice. dad used to be the funny thing is my dad used to be a very proud Neva. You know, when I was hmm. born, he was like. I'll teach him Newari and mm. stuff like that, and Maybe I was the first person to actually <laughs> not speak Newari in my whole entire family. <laughs> so, like every single family gathering, you know, people are like, you know, what what happened? Yeah. Why why doesn't he speak Newari? So, yeah. Yeah. but you understand it, I'm guessing, because you've heard everyone. Kind speak. of. Hmm. So that's the problem. Hmm. I don't understand. I maybe I understand maybe like ten, fifteen percent of Newari. Okay, so that, okay. That's because usually when you don't speak and you've mm-hmm. seen people speaking, mm-hmm. they understand. Like my cousin sister from mm-hmm. India. Uh, she, uh, her didi's kamgani didi haru the staff used to be nepali and her mossy also has Nep- my mom's sister also has nepali blood so she's heard us speak in nepali so she like i understand nepali fully mm. but i can speak it zero yeah It's for me what happened was like mm. i have a huge family right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. extended family but then majority of i'm from birgun so majority mm-hmm. of them came back to kathmandu okay. mm. and me my dad my mom was there right and mm. my mom doesn't speak nepali ne- So in the household yeah. the language that was being spoken was Nepali and that's how you know I I never got to hear it um, mm-hmm. yeah. so that it would train me as such yeah part, and we yeah. usually always tend to stick to our mothers and mm-hmm. that's how you get yeah. to be that, that's why we call mother tongue you know yeah. the mm. true because like the accent that I have my mom also has that little indian accent so i'm okay. like and mero bhai are who are from the same house my cousins Then Nepali is weak, but mm-hmm. it's not Indian accent. It's Nepali mm-hmm. accent, but weak. So I was like, this I've right. got from my mother. Right. Which that makes sense. Mother. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's because I was a mama's boy. But I guess everyone as a kid is a mama's boy. Mm-hmm. 